the percentage relationship you have with any given relative or one of your family members is what we call identity by descent or IBD. This is a number that's assigned to each family member that indicates the percentage of a genome you would share with them based on your common ancestors. In the same way that we have an IBS score, we have an IBD score, and they're both measured from a range of 0 to 100%. But in the case of the IBS score, we generally go from a range of about 70% to 100%, right? And that's sampling SNVs across the whole genome. But an IBD score can get down pretty close to zero. It's almost never completely 0%. Remember, we're all related through common ancestors at some point. So we share some relations. But it gets to a very low percentage at some point. And we can be all the way up to 100%, obviously, if you compare it to your own genome or if you have an identical twin. So in a way, what we're looking for here is to see where your closest genetic relatives are to your furthest genetic relatives. You may remember from Lesson 5 when I introduced the idea of the family rainbow, right, instead of the family tree. And what it allows us to do is sort of do these categories, this hierarchical relationships using these different colors. We can fill in each tier here, right? You're 100% related to you. Your siblings and your parents, you're 50% related to. Your half-siblings, grandparents, aunts, uncles, you're 25%. And then it gets pretty complicated quickly, 12.5% related to your first cousins, granduncles, great-grandparents, and then 6.25% related to your first cousin once removed, great-grandaunt, great-great-grandparents, and all kinds of other shrubby-like things coming off this tree or our family rainbow. And we can keep going out. But what I like about the family rainbow is it allows us to organize our relatives in a way that allows us to easily visualize these tiers of genetic relatedness to each other. Now this is all well and good if we know our relationship with our family members already, but how do we calculate this percentage, which is equal to the IBD, the Identity by Descent score, for unknown relations? Let's actually go talk to somebody about how this IBD score is determined.